Hi guys, welcome to Tea Talk with Tai Nguyen. So you know, my life is pretty crazy and I'm always, always constantly working because, you know, trying to run your own business is crazy. You don't have time for yourself. But, you know, I love my friends and I have friends all over the place. Some are in my hometown, some live by me, some live in another state and some live in another country. So whenever I have a chance or some little free time, I try my best to go see them. And one time I was going to another country for work and I literally have 24 hours layover. And I wanted to see my friend Cherry in Korea, in Seoul, Korea. So I decided to go see Cherry in Gangnam, Seoul, Korea for 24 hours. So what did I do in 24 hours in Gangnam, Seoul, Korea? Eat, shop, and got a haircut in Gangnam. It's kind of amazing. And I mean a lot of eating. Eat, 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 shop, and got a haircut. Your gown by Tai Nguyen. Flight is actually not bad. I think I got there like really early and Cherry she literally like did not sleep the night before because from her house going to the airport it's about two hours so she didn't want to miss my um, the time to pick me up so she stayed up and then met me at the airport picked me up and drove me back to Gangnam because that's where she lives and uh, we were in Gangnam financial district that's where we were and there's many other places but I don't remember but the majority I was in Gangnam with her we are going to Seoul thank you Cherry my driver of the day <laughs> yeah we were just in Incheon, Incheon airport and it's a and is it? And we, there's a lot of fog going on because this is a man-made island, right? Artificial. So we're actually on top of an ocean. So it's all fog. You can't barely see anything. That's crazy. On top of this bridge, this high bridge. So foggy, you can't see anything. And is this navigation lady keep on telling my so navigation lady keep on telling Ch Cherry to slow down because she's speeding. <laughs> she literally is so green and clean. I feel like I'm in Seattle. I don't even feel like I'm in Korea. Is it when is it gonna hit me? Soon. One hour, and now I feel like I'm in LA because of this traffic. Ugh. Soul, welcome you. Thank you, Soul. 
very nice welcome on this hot sunny day. And, you know, Korea is so updated and so modernized, um, metropolitan. And uh, I cannot believe that they have a man made and artificial island to connect from, you know, a city to the airport. It's pretty, pretty amazing. It's impressive. The minute I saw Cherry, I was like, Cherry, I'm so hungry. Uh, it's like a red eye flight, and I ate on the plane, but I'm in Korea. I want to eat. All the Korean food that I can eat, like authentic local Korean food. So she came up with a really genius idea. She took me to the mall. Literally in the mall, there is a Korean restaurant and they are specializing in Korean buffet. With all their street food, famous street food in Korea. And it was just like I was in heaven. I get to taste every single thing that. You know, Korea food has to offer on the street, but it's in a mall with AC because the time I was there it was so hot, 100 degrees. It was so hot, but um, it was amazing, and we ate. I mean, I ate so much. So this laser beam is guiding you to drive down the tunnel safely because there are so many bad drivers yes. in Korea, <laughs> Miss Kim. Especially who drives like Mercedes. <laughs> Korean street food buffet. Huh? Try like mixed rice. Mm-hmm. Like bibimbap? Yeah. Meat cashews. Has meat cashews. It's like a rice cake. Uh -huh. There's a seed and um, brown sugar and cinnamon. You see? Ooh, egg. Do I like these? Fresh made tofu. Cool. Protein. Oh my god, it's like perfect first stop. Just a little bit of everything, exactly how I want it. First stop in Korea. Thanks to the rice string, traditional rice string. And there's kale, it's organic and lots of kimchi, have chicken soup with abalone, and then we have like fresh hapa rice. And of course you cannot hot with rice. hot rice. And then these aluminum utensils. That's very Korean. Is this? Uh, and the this rice. Hot, hot, uh, hot rice? Fresh made hot rice, bibimbap. <laughs> what is this? Ginseng chicken soup. Half. Half. With the whole thigh, look at that. That's the thigh. What is that? Little boy is so cute. Watermelon dessert, green tea ice cream with all these goodies. We walked around, we shop, we shop in the mall because there was AC, it was too hot outside, but you know, there's only certain things you can buy at the mall, and obviously we have to walk by the food court. I mean, if you travel to Asia, anywhere in Asia, the food court is the best place to go. Like, you have to go to the food court. And the food court is like the whole oh floor. Where to eat? Okay. Lobster bar. Pen fry. There's like what? Hot pot. Wow. It's like kitchen maze. And I'm so full. <laughs> it's like endless of food. That's my Korea's favorite for mukbang. What's that? Mukbang. Mukbang. Like, yeah, like, in, like YouTube, you like nice cakes and bakery. 
I think today is all about food. No, it's not all about food. Not, no work. We didn't even begin, okay? Don't be food, sick. food, and then what? Shopping. Shopping? It's endless. It's like a maze, and they have everything from like appetizer to entree to snacks to sweet to dessert to more dessert more dessert more dessert i mean all, all i did was eating and eating for a very for a, like almost half the day and then she took me to um, that mall it's called starfield and the landmark in that mall is the library the famous famous library the bookcase I mean, I joked around, I was like, I don't read books. I don't really like reading, to be honest. I love pictures, I love reading magazine, I love anything with illustration, with pictures, but if it's just words, I fall asleep. But this place is major. I mean, it's a huge library in the middle of the mall. It's very impressive. Thank you, Cherry, for taking me there. Take a picture there. Escalator with the, there. I don't even read books. <laughs> but I'm here because this is a landmark, but I don't read books. And after the AC, after the food, after walking around, it's time to check into our, our hotel. And it's like a last minute trip. So we, I just booked like um, a hotel in Gangnam close to Cherry's house so then uh, it's convenient and then she can pick me up and then we can go to places wherever because I literally only have 24 hours but the funny thing is if you're in Korea they're famous for skincare they're famous for beauty products they're famous for K-pop they're famous for Korean barbecue and they're famous for plastic surgery. So it just happened next door, right next to my hotel, is a really, really big plastic surgery place. I mean, I didn't do anything. I didn't get anything done. But um, if you're in Korea, you need to get something done. Go to Korea. They do their magic there. Yangnam Financial District. Yangnam Style. What street is this? Tehran. This is the city of, this is where we're staying, our hotel, Dormy Inn. And right next to our hotel is Grand Plastic Surgery. Hmm. Tempted. No. And then because it was so hot, it was like 100 degree in Korea, we were walking around. And I was like, you know what? My hair is not that long but it was longer than I wanted so I'm like I want to get a haircut in Korea and you know those k-pop guys they always have like funky and cool haircut and I was like I want to get a haircut um, in a Korean salon in like I want to have a k-pop haircut but my hair was too short so there's only so much she can do and we found this salon in Gangnam and the best part about Gangnam is that there's an area, I forgot what it's called, but there's an area with all the local designers and the local hair salon. So I went there and this beautiful hairstylist, she's so beautiful, she's gorgeous. And she took me in as a walk-in, cut my hair, and I felt so cool that I get a haircut it's 100 in Korea. degree outside. And we decided to walk, because why not? When am I going to be in Korea and walk around with you, right? <laughs> we need to go, <laughs> go into AC. around and shop some more the one thing I have to say is that Korean people man they are creative in their stores the way to display and I mean you can see some of the stores some of them um, in, in the clips you can see it's 
an eyewear store. There was like four or five floors, and the whole and the whole store is like different installation. They're so creative with their arts. This the creativity is like top notch. I was so overwhelmed, and there were so many shops with local designer. I didn't I didn't have time to film everything, but I went crazy. I went crazy in Gangnam, and you know they call Gangnam style for a reason. They do have style. They're very stylish. <laughs> You have to eat Korean barbecue. I mean, and it's just not the regular Korean barbecue that we get here. I mean, here my favorite place in Koreatown, or even where I live, there's a Korea town in Orange County, and we go to BCD. Is that what I call it? BCD? You know, you get your Korean barbecue, you get your number one combo with the Korean barbecue and the tofu soup and the tofu salad and the whole. Shebang, you know, they put, they put out on the whole table. That's just Korean style. And, um, but when I was with Cherry and she's like, you gotta try the black pig Korean barbecue. And I mean, it was so good. It was so good. It was like juicy and tender and it was just like the right amount of fat. It was just so good. I mean, I'm craving it right now, talking about it. And, you have to try the black pig Korean barbecue. We went to town with the black pig Korean barbecue. so full and a lot of walking and tired went back to the hotel I crashed the next morning woke up early because the time difference and so I just ate breakfast at the hotel and it was fresh and delicious even the food at the hotel was, was good so you know I'll, I told you 24 hours and all I did was eating and eating and eating and eating eating shopping and got a haircut 7 30 in the morning breakfast at the hotel yes and then we uh, I have to do some work with cherry we went to get we went to some appointments and uh, so obviously I couldn't do that. I couldn't film that. And then we went to this amazing, amazing dessert place. I mean, they have all different kind of desserts. And you know in Korea, beside, okay, I take it back. Beside Korean barbecue, beside beauty, beside plastic surgery, they love dessert. And it's not just like a regular dessert, like a small store. This is the whole building. This place is the whole building. You go in, you pick your dessert, and then you go and you have your seat and the way they set up with like beautiful couches and chandelier. I mean, it's magnificent. And the dessert is so, so, so good. There was like cake and there was like bread and then there was like shaved ice and lots of condensed milk, more condensed milk. It was, I was in heaven. And obviously that's ended my trip with this huge, huge dessert.
Cherry for showing me the best and the best of Gangnam. And I love you and I cannot wait to come back to Korea and go to a different area. But if you have time, go travel. Even though in 24 hours you can do a lot of things, sometimes that's the best thing in life. You go do things spontaneously. But it's the best time. And especially if you get to do it with one of your best friends or if you get to do it with your close ones, your loved ones. It is beautiful. It is amazing. Trust me, you need to do this. That's how you enjoy life. Thank you for taking your valuable time to watch my channel. I know there are many, many different choices out there for you to watch. But since you took out your time to watch my channel, and if you want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. And again, be sure to stay true to who you are, be yourself, have fun, life is too short, and live for fashion, set the trend. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next clip. Bye.